And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. It was a cold start to our day. We woke up with temperatures that were in the upper 20s and low 30s. I mean, uh, just stepping outside yesterday evening, I felt that cool air, the clear skies, the calm winds. I even took my basil plant and brought it in inside because I still wanted to survive a little bit longer. And what we do have also as we head into tomorrow night, a freeze watch is in effect. We still have the growing season over parts of the lakeshore and the Southern Fox Valley. Fond du Lac, Sheboygan County up towards Door County with temperatures expected by Monday morning to be near 30 or even slightly below that could end the growing season for you folks that are closer by the lake shore. Now there is a glimmer of hope and if you're not ready for the fall weather just yet, we do have some warmer weather on the way. The 6 to 10 day outlook by the Climber Prediction Center does show some even 60s, maybe close to 70 degree temperatures returning about a week from today. So something to look forward to if you're ready for some a little warmer weather and that continuation of this cool and gloomy weather that we started off this weekend with. That's what's showing on the time lapse right now. And as we head into the rest of the afternoon hours, it's been pretty quiet and gloomy as well. We do have this area of low pressure that has been swirling across the Midwest this afternoon and has been providing some showers not just in the form of rain, but also in the form of snow. And you can see that right here moving from Minnesota down into north central Wisconsin this morning. We had snowfall reports in parts of Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin between about one to three and a half inches. Crazy to just open up the doors or windows this morning and see all this snow when it was just a few days ago that some areas were talking about temperatures in the 70s. That's what happens in fall. Right now we do still have some light rain showers swirling across at the moment and are moving down to the south. Most of the light rainfall, however, is remaining up in the north woods and also in Door County. So going into the next 48 hours, we'll continue with the rain showers moving in, but really falling apart heading into the overnight. Could actually break in some clearing skies by the morning hours tomorrow. But it's short lived because by the afternoon with the daytime heating, it's going to cause some instability in the atmosphere and you see these little pop up rain showers. That's from that instability that the sun will be causing lots of light scattered rain showers during the afternoon and evening. So if you plan to be going outside tomorrow or maybe watching the Packers game going to Lambeau Field, you might be encountering some light rain showers. Now tomorrow night it gets a lot cooler and we have a strong wind out of the north. That's going to bring in some snowfall lake effect snow showers over the south shores of Lake Superior and that could even cross over parts of the far north woods. Look at this model forecast going about 72 hours near or even exceeding a foot of snow. If we get the right conditions, wouldn't be surprised over parts of Marquette to be dealing with that. Breezy winds for tomorrow coming in out of the northwest upwards about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So while the temperatures will warm up into the upper 40s, it will feel slightly cooler with that brisk north wind. But something to look forward to these temperatures by next weekend. How about this getting into the mid and upper 60s? We'll cool off into the mid 30s overnight tonight with light winds coming in out of the west for tomorrow. Upper 40s with northwest winds. And taking a look over the next couple of days, getting into the low 40s on Monday, a chance of some rain and snow showers, but dry weather and some warmer weather as we head into the end of the week and heading into next weekend.